I grew up as a, a rural African black woman and so I know about being a minority. I grew up in a patriarchal society and I think that for me the language of minorities is a language that I identify with. So I'm a medical anthropologist who works on the politicization of homosexualities in Uganda and um, I do ethnographies, which means that I live in the communities that I do research on. How did I get into my research topic? I think I began working with sexualities during the HIV AIDS time in Uganda when there were lots of deaths and when sex was divided into good sex and bad sex. I thought, okay, so Americans are coming to Uganda to do research. Europeans are coming into Uganda to do research, but I am located in Uganda and I have access to members of this community and so I felt that, yes, I can make a contribution that's grounded within the realities of um, queer folk in Uganda. And so after my doctoral studies, I went home to Uganda and there was a bill uh, that was proposed, that proposed the recriminalization of homosexualities in Uganda. I think that the proposals of the bill, including killing um, particular people, performing particular forms of homosexuality, called on my social activism and social justice work and trying to produce knowledge that was relevant to the community, the minority community that this bill was going to affect, I think was great motivation. Because I um, live and work with and love queer people in Uganda, lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgender and intersex people, as family, as workmates, as research subjects, I, I felt that I could contribute. In my case, I did not want to look at the question of whether homosexuality is African or an African. My beginning premises is there are African homosexuals, and so that is not a, a starter, you know, it's a no-brainer for me. And so I think that my research kind of showed that the divides, the artificial divides between pro-gay versus anti-gay camps, as played out in Uganda, uh, show that the story is a lot more complex. An unintended good side effect of, of having the bill is that the public is now discussing um, the issue openly, but also uh, the local grassroots LGBTI community got a lot of support, both local and foreign, and there's a movement that's visibly growing and articulating and contesting for the human rights of um, homosexual people. I hope that human rights activists and social justice activists and any other person working for the rights of minorities will be interested as an audience in my work. I hope that church leaders and other religious leaders, Islamic leaders, I think that legal uh, legislators, people working on laws and legal reform in Africa um, will be very much interested in my work because what I've shown is the introduction of a piece of legal reform can impact lives in drastic ways. Uh, policy makers, program makers, students, <laughs> mothers, parents of lesbians, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex people. So everybody, <laughs> can I say everybody? Everybody should be interested in my work. <laughs>